and welcome to my in-depth video on the 75335 BD1. So in this video I'll talk about this set, a bunch of its features and well whether or not I think it is a good set or val good value. So starting off with the box art, it is kind of interesting with the way they've done this. So the bottom corner it says Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And because there's no minifigure other than BD1 from this, they kind of skipped out on that, which I suppose really suggests that the Fallen Order will not be getting any other set at any point. But maybe from the new game, it's possible. But yeah, it's kind of ends the kind of thought process that we'll be getting more sets from this shoot. But anyway, you can see it's a, it's a 14 plus, which is kind of interesting because a lot of the sets that they do for this they say are like 16 or 18 plus so then they appeal more to adults but it is 75335 and is bd1 and it has a thousand and sixty two pieces looking at the back of the box you can see some of the features which i'll talk about a bit more in a moment but the price of the set is 90 pounds 100 dollars and 100 euros and that's not bad value it is it doesn't look it, but it is actually a foot tall, pretty much, which is quite impressive, and it doesn't really look it, but I'm sure if you get it, it might look slightly bigger. It does come with one minifigure being BD-1. The mould is also used in the Naboo Starfighter for the Mandalorian on a different droid, which is kind of Lego's way of justifying it a bit more, and it is quite an accurate mould, and the printing's really nice, so it makes quite a nice minifigure, one that displays well set. So the set is 31 centimeters tall or 12.5 inches, which is quite tall. Like they don't even include the antennas, which I suppose would is quite nice if they don't do that. They don't like false advertise or kind of make it seem taller than it is. But that does seem taller than one might expect whenever you look at the set. But anyway, so the set itself is pretty cool. It is really nicely accurate. There are a lot of features which I wasn't really expecting and that is something LEGO has done really well on in my opinion. The fact that they've managed to pack so many features in this set. So starting off with some of the like the eyes you can rotate them. Well not eyes but you get what I mean. You can rotate them and that is something that I think is quite nice that they've done. And the legs move, they're really poseable and you can move like them back and forth so you can get like different angles. And yeah, this is quite a cool one. I quite like the way you can just slide this out to fit in here. And you can see some of the detailing on the back of the head like part. And that's quite nice with kind of the panel. It looks really cool. And you can see like a bunch of the design on the side of the head like part. And it looks pretty but nice. Like it is not badly done it is quite an accurate set and you can see it here just kind of nice tilt to the head and pretty sure the antennas you can see will probably be able to move back and forth if you wanted to do that as well there are quite a lot of features in this set and it is quite impressive the design is really cool like the legs i think are really well done and they're really nicely detailed i like the wires like the gold and the black ones look pretty nice and the side of the legs is really well done you can see here it being built, it doesn't look to be too bad building process, it's probably slightly more technical than a lot of sets are, but yeah, it doesn't look like too complicated a building process, and you can see it here, it does look really nice, you can see the top is slightly flat, but it is quite detailed, which kind of makes up for it, but then it is, yeah, it's very white, and it's quite the front looks really nice. I think the f they've done the front really well here with the nice detail and the front panel and like grey and like the silverish pieces look pretty cool. You can see it on display there with its plaque and it looks quite nice. But yeah, do hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.